Before the Ukraine war, the biggest car exporters to Russia were primarily from countries known for their strong automotive industries. Germany, Japan, and the United States were the leading car exporters to Russia. Germany was particularly dominant, reflecting its robust auto manufacturing sector and the high demand for German vehicles in Russia. Following Germany, Japanese and American car manufacturers also had significant shares in the Russian market, exporting a substantial volume of vehicles each year. The outbreak of the Ukraine war and subsequent sanctions dramatically reshaped Russia's automotive import market. In this video, we explore how these sanctions have transformed the market dynamics, elevating China to the status of the world's top car exporter. Following the exodus of Western car manufacturers due to the Ukraine crisis and resultant sanctions, Chinese car manufacturers have substantially increased their presence in Russia. This expansion is evident from the nearly five-fold increase in Chinese car exports to Russia, totaling approximately $4.6 billion in the first half of 2023 alone. Chinese brands have grown to represent nearly 40% of the new car sales market in Russia as of early 2023, a significant increase from less than 10% in the previous year. This growth in market share is supported by the establishment of over 1,000 Chinese vehicle dealerships across Russia. The sales of Chinese cars in Russia saw a marked increase, with over 122,000 vehicles sold in 2022, which was a 13% increase year-on-year. -year. This surge in sales coincided with the departure of 46 out of 60 Western brands from the Russian market, further opening opportunities for Chinese automakers. Noteworthy investments include the Tula factory by Great Wall Motors, representing a $500 million investment and marking it as the first wholly owned manufacturing facility of a Chinese brand overseas. The facility played a crucial role in boosting the local production of Chinese vehicles in Russia. These developments reflect a strategic pivot by Chinese automakers to capitalize on the vacuum left by Western brands, leveraging it to enhance their global export figures and market dominance, particularly in Russia. Before we proceed, we're eager to hear your views on the future of U.S.-China relations. Please share your thoughts in the comments. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Your support is very important to us and motivates us to continue creating content. Thank you for your continued encouragement. In 2022, the Russian auto industry experienced a severe downturn with car sales plummeting by 58.8% compared to the previous year. This drop in sales was largely due to the impact of Western sanctions, which restricted access to crucial parts and disrupted established supply chains. In response to the sanctions, the Russian auto industry has been forced to realign its supply chains. While there's an ongoing effort to reduce dependency on Western imports, the transition has been challenging. The government has implemented measures to boost local production, increasing the local content in vehicles to significant levels, which helps mitigate some impacts of the sanctions. The Russian government and industry bodies are actively working to mitigate the effects of sanctions through various programs. These include offering soft loans to domestic manufacturers of automotive components and fostering the local production of essential auto parts. Despite these efforts, the overall sentiment remains cautious, with predictions about future growth tempered by ongoing geopolitical tensions and market unpredictability. The ongoing sanctions have underscored the vulnerability of the Russian auto industry to international geopolitical dynamics, revealing both the challenges and the potential pathways for adaptation and resilience in a constrained economic environment. Among the Chinese brands, Sherry has been particularly successful leading with substantial sales followed by other brands like Haval and Geely. These brands have not only filled the gap left by Western manufacturers, but have also begun to outpace traditional local brands like Lada in certain metrics. Looking forward, the dominance of Chinese car brands in the Russian market is expected to continue growing. Market analysis predicts further increases in sales, supported by robust export activities and favorable market conditions for Chinese manufacturers. The strategic shift by Chinese automakers to capitalize on the available market opportunities in Russia has not only reshaped their export dynamics, but also positioned them as major players in the Russian automotive industry. This change is reflective of broader shifts in global auto manufacturing and export patterns, highlighting the adaptive strategies of Chinese firms amid geopolitical shifts. In 2023, Russia emerged as the leading export destination for Chinese automobiles, 
with a remarkable sales volume of 841,000 units in the first 11 months of the year. This represents a dramatic increase of 545% compared to the previous year, underscoring Russia's pivotal role in China's automotive export strategy. The financial exchanges between China and Russia have intensified, with China exporting goods worth $42.96 billion to Russia from January to May 2023, marking a significant increase of 75.6% from the previous year. This surge has been vital in supporting Russia's economy, especially in light of Western sanctions that have isolated it from many traditional markets. Beyond automobiles, the trade relationship between China and Russia has become increasingly significant, with bilateral trade growing by $93.8 billion in early 2023. This growth is fueled by Russia's demand for Chinese goods, equipment, and technology, which are crucial for maintaining its economic stability amid global sanctions. Since the onset of sanctions, China has overtaken the EU as Russia's most crucial trading partner. This shift has been crucial for Russia as it seeks to compensate for reduced trade with Western nations, highlighting the strategic importance of Chinese exports in keeping the Russian economy functional. These dynamics illustrate the complex interplay of geopolitical factors and economic interests, with China playing an increasingly central role in supporting Russia's automotive and broader economic needs in a challenging international context. Western sanctions on Russia have extended to affect foreign partners of Russian automakers, including those from China. These sanctions restrict the export and sale of vehicles from Russia to G7 countries, impacting potential revenue channels for Chinese automakers operating in Russia. Sanctions not only limit direct exports but also prevent the bypassing of restrictions through third parties. This creates a significant operational challenge for Chinese firms aiming to expand in the Russian market. The economic and political risks associated with investing in Russian facilities are high, influenced by the volatile geopolitical climate. This may deter further investment or complicate ongoing operations for Chinese automakers. Despite these challenges, Chinese automakers are pursuing aggressive strategies, such as acquiring facilities left by Western companies and increasing local production capabilities to maintain their market share in Russia. Chinese automakers are strategically positioning themselves to become leaders in the global automotive industry by leveraging advanced technologies and forming strategic partnerships. The Chinese government is supporting this initiative, aiming to make China a top producer of electric and hybrid vehicles. This support includes significant state investments to boost the automobile sector and encourage Chinese car companies to expand globally through joint ventures and strategic acquisitions. These moves are designed to enhance their competitive advantage and establish a strong international presence. That concludes our video. We hope you found this video both useful and informative. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please remember to share your feedback in the comments section below. We value your opinions and look forward to hearing from you. Your input helps us improve and continue providing valuable content.